So I've been raising chickens for a couple years now. Some of my chickens just keep getting beat up. Here with us today is Dr. Michael Derry, the chicken doctor, the expert to tell us why chickens get bullied. So Dr. Mike, I yeah. actually got this question from Jazzy Luna Windsor Show, why do chickens get bullied? One of the YouTube questions that we had. Why do chickens get bullied? Well, one of the things about chickens is they they are a social breed and they have what's called a dominance hierarchy. Most people call this the peck order. Yeah. And because of that, they tend to fight over their ranking in their, in their, uh, in their flock. So you'll have a separate peck order for males and a peck order for females, but it doesn't mean they won't peck each other. Sometimes you probably heard the term hen peck. Well, that's where the, the, male, the females go out and actually peck at the males and fight them a little bit. Oh, yeah? yeah. So it goes both ways. It goes both ways. But then um, they're also cannibalistic, believe it or not. Uh, they're drawn to blood and feed. So That's pretty brutal. Yeah, so sometimes they're in the peck order, they actually do peck each other. And some of them who think they're equal rank yeah. are going to really go into a good fight. And when they do that, one of them may get bloody and then... The other chickens will come in and start seeing the blood and they'll peck at it and, and fight. So you have one chicken being beat up by all the other ones. And especially the one the lowest in the peck order, that gets pecked by everybody. Uh -huh. So if you got 10 chickens, number 10 is going to be pecked by one through nine. What if you have 200 chickens? Like how deep does the pecking order go? Yeah, it's usually about up to about 15 or 16 or so, and not, not more than 20. They don't remember too many more than about 15 to 20. Uh, so within a, a large flock, what you're going to end up with is several smaller peck orders within that. Yeah. And it depends where they move because they're somewhat territorial. So within that flock, if, if a hen gets into the wrong nest box for some reason, the other one who, who quote, owns that nest box is going to fight it. All right. So, yeah, there's lots of things that will trigger a fight. Food, water, toys, you know. Somebody picks up a feather and the other one says, I want that feather. They'll go out and chase each other and peck over it. So it kind of reminds know. me of my two-year-old daughter. Uh, exactly. Well, they're, they're, they're like rambunctious three-year-olds. Everything's <laughs> about me. Everything's <laughs> about me. That's great. Right. Uh, is there anything, if you have one chicken, so you have your 10 chickens in your backyard flock mm -hmm. and you notice that lowest chicken on the pecking order is just getting the snot beat out of her. Yeah. Is there anything you can do to help like distract the other chickens or give her a leg up or like, you know, do you buy her a knife so she can defend <laughs> right. herself or? No, so, so there are some chicken toys out there which are trying to distract them. All right. And one of the things we found that works pretty good is like hanging a head of cabbage on a rope, put a hole through the cabbage, put a rope or string through it and hang it about head height so they go peck at it. When they do is they grab a cabbage leaf and then they play keep away at the cabbage leaf. So they're yeah. chasing the leaf, not each other. Um, there are some people that have actually taken a regular chicken feed and they made like a feed ball out of it where All they right. use molasses and some other sticky stuff and then just really make a really hard compact ball or a tree. They put it on like a hunk of cardboard and stick it up. Kind of so like the popcorn balls you get at exactly. like Christmas. Yeah. yeah, except the chickens peck at it. So something uh, to, to take their mind away from each other and find it. Usually they, they, they tend to keep fighting when they're bored, yeah. even though they may have established a peck order. If they get really bored and they don't have a lot of space, then they'll tend to fight each other more. So you want to give them some entertainment if you can. Uh, you want to reduce or, or, or increase the space they have because yeah. it's too small. Other people have actually tried like a flake of hay. They'll take like a little flake of hay, put it yeah. in there. The chickens will go grab the hay and play with it. Anything to divert their attention away from the other birds. So hanging shiny things. Yeah, one of just the things about we've it. tried. Like packing CDs. Yeah, you can do yeah. that. You got to be careful of those because they're plastic, the plastic and they yeah. and they can break them and eat them. Oh, so what yeah. I like is like a hang a, a like a Coca Cola can or a Pepsi can that's red because yeah. they're attracted to that color. Put a couple stones in there, makes noise. So that's good for a couple days, and then you got to switch out. So you can't keep it in there forever and expect them not to get bored with it. Yeah, totally. So, you, so you put new <laughs> toys in. So those are things, but they're uh, basically cannibalistic and dominance hierarchy and you just have to sometimes let them go them. through that yeah just let them go through it so i want to hear your stories about how you've keep kept your chickens entertained what do you do on farm that you know maybe it's hanging that cabbage maybe it's hanging mm -hmm. up a coke can but how do you keep your chickens from getting bored leave that in the comments section below subscribe to the channel to see more of dr mike and until next time i'll see you out in the field <laughs>